Over the last two years, I woke up consistently at 4.30 a.m. to practice guitar. And in this video, I want to show you what I learned by doing that and how it changed my life completely. Right after getting out of bed and brushing my teeth, I start my daily practice routine. It takes around two hours until I finish all the daily topics on my list. And with this video, I want to focus on the upcoming 30 days because they are dedicated to a pretty crazy goal and milestone with my alternate picking technique. So by practicing early and consistently, I developed a fast, controlled and relaxed alternate picking technique. But right now, my main practice goal is achieving complete freedom and independence with my alternate picking lines. Guitarists often gravitate to easy, repetitive patterns as soon as they build a solid picking technique. But I want to be able to effortlessly play anything I can dream up. So my string transitions have to become absolutely flawless and bulletproof. That's why I set up an insane practice goal that I will have to achieve in just 30 days by getting up and practicing at 4.30 a.m. sharp every Every single day. Let's see if it's actually possible to achieve this superhuman speed and control that I'm after in just 30 days. So here's the picking workout that I will be doing for the first 30 to 45 minutes of my morning sessions over the next month. I think you will be pretty surprised by the crazy practice goal I set for myself with this and how I turned these classic exercises into the most effective picking workout known to man. But first things first, lick number one forces me to avoid touching the high E string with my pick after a downstroke on the B string and then I'm not allowed to touch the B string after an upstroke on the E string. This exact picking escape motion is what gives professional players this razor sharp, ultra clean, well-defined sound. But since this is the hardest part of achieving a rock solid picking technique, most players sadly never get to achieve this feeling and sound. Allow me to show you exactly what made this click for me, because I think it will solve this frustration for you as well. And no, you don't have to get up at 4.30 a.m. just like me, although I highly recommend it and I will tell you exactly why a bit later. So with the second lick, I'm not allowed to touch the high E string again after a downstroke on the B string, but this time I play only one note on the E string before I play on the B string again. That means I have to change my picking angle immediately or I get stuck in between the strings. The bigger picture with all this starts to unfold now. This is a lick almost all guitar players are struggling with at one point and it helped me immensely to practice lick number one first. As you can see it's the same exact picking concept when it comes to the string transitions but with lick number one I simply have more time to change the picking angle because I'm playing three notes on the string and right after practicing that I go into lick number two and suddenly it becomes much easier. Great success! Before I show you the big practice twist with all this and the insane impossible practice challenge I set for myself, allow me to do a quick fire round with your most frequently asked questions about all this. Why exactly 4.30 a.m.? It's the earliest time I can personally pull off while still feeling well rested and I honestly just love being done with my guitar practice routine, my morning run and with almost all of my emails and messages by around 8.30 a.m. How long do you practice each day? I usually never do more than two hours of straight exercises and music theory concepts. To me that's the longest I can really focus intensely on all that. The songs, music, videos, session gigs and all that stuff I have to prepare for and work on usually comes later during the day. When do you go to sleep? I go to sleep at around 9 p.m. so relatively early for most people but since I do currently work around 14 hours each day I basically fall asleep right away and I get around seven hours of sleep which is enough for me. Do you ever make exceptions? Yes I do sleep in on days I have to play shows or on tour in general because of course my performance is the priority in this situation and I usually have to play pretty late. If you have any more questions like this just drop them in the comments i'm happy to answer them and by the way also make sure to subscribe to join our awesome guitar community here on youtube so the final two patterns of the morning workout are the hardest ones first i have to escape with my pick after a downstroke on the high e string to play an upstroke on the b string and then i have to escape after an upstroke on the b string to get the downstroke on the e string and now the hardest one a true nightmare for every single guitarist for the last pattern i'm only playing one downstroke on the high E string and then I have to immediately escape to play the upstroke on the B string. And after the last upstroke on the B string I have to go back to the E string.
All right, my friends, day 30 has arrived and things are about to get serious. So if you can play these four legendary patterns flawlessly, you definitely become a master of alternate picking, but most people can only perform one or two of these at faster tempos, kind of feeling forever trapped playing the same old alternate picking ideas over and over again. So to escape this nightmare, here's my big practice twist with all this and the crazy challenge I have to beat. I set the goal of playing all these patterns in a row without any break at 300 beats per minute. That means I won't have time to adjust my picking angles and to reposition my pick because I instantly have to nail every single transition since the licks are all stacked together now and this will be a big challenge for my alternate picking endurance as well. I have to play around 100 notes in just 6 seconds. So here it is, let's see if I can beat my challenge after 30 days of working on this. My friends, I'm happy to report that I just beat my crazy alternate picking challenge. And honestly, this is really exciting because it has opened the door for so many new creative possibilities for my playing at very, very fast tempos. And to top it off, some great news for you as well. If you are after the same amount of control and freedom when it comes to your guitar playing, especially your picking technique, I made two brand new workout packages for all Patreon members. These are the exact two workout routines that I've been practicing over these last 30 days. So I'm pretty sure that they will give you the exact same results as well if you're consistently working on them. As always, these workouts come with play-along videos that start very slow at 40 beats per minute and you will move through the BPM ladder together with me until you reach your desired tempo. Additionally, you get access to 16 courses and over 200 lessons by now and that's exactly why we are the worldwide number one biggest community on Patreon in the music category. So it's kind of a no-brainer. I think this is exactly where you belong if you want to get better at guitar. I will see you over there. You can find the link down below. Until then, I will keep shredding at 4.30 a.m. and I will talk to you again very soon. Greetings from Vienna. Bye bye.